What's going on everybody? It's your boy, Side11. Today we're talking about being goddamn Lucifer. And today is Monday, Moon Day, Heart Chakra, Goddamn Feeling Day. And we're talking about being Lucifer. So now, we have to break down what is Lucifer. So you know what I'm saying? Lucifer is literally like... So you know, we have the biblical myth of Lucifer, the son of God, who fell from heaven because he believed that he was the most beautiful, perhaps even the most righteous. Uh, uh, but him being the most righteous and the most beautiful, yet that was his undoing. So that so that lets you know that the writers in the Bible is actually making a point about you being the most beautiful is not it. You appearing like you're the most spectacle of all things is not it. Because a lot of people want to construct their, themselves in a specific manner and present themselves in that manner. You know, a lot of people want to learn under Elijah Muhammad. Uh, yeah, brother, please, praise brother Elijah Muhammad. Praise Muhammad, praise this and this and dude. But you're literally neutering. You're literally circumcising. You're not circulating no energy. You're circumcising yourself to appear like somebody else, which is really just a graven image. Who the fuck told you God needs you to look like and be like somebody else? Lucifer will be somebody who does not who does not want to show you what they went through when, when they were a child. Somebody who does not recognize their past pain. Somebody who does not recognize what they had to come through. Somebody who want to be, who want to appear like they are better than, they are grander than, that they can, uh, that they can uphold way more than. And based on them being able to do that, that's going to lead them to the conclusion that, yeah, I must be the, the most beautiful. I must be the best at this. This must be what I'm good at. While really, the most beautiful act in the universe is going to be you being able to transfigure your darkness into light right in front of people. Which is basically what I'm doing right now. So if you're hurt, if you're worried, if you're afraid, if you're in pain, don't try to appear like you're better than. Don't try to appear like you're something grander than. This, this, like grander, this grand illusion that we see in the world. I don't care if, you know... Yeah, so that's why you have to be very careful reading the occult. You have to be very careful reading these books. Now, you can understand these books as well as you want to. But how many people in the world do you actually think understand the occult? How many people in the world do you think understand what a 3 point, 4 point, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9 point system is? How many people do you think will look at you like, what the fuck are you talking about? So how the fuck are you supposed to work for God if you just want to be the most beautiful, the most grandest of all things? You're supposed to come down here, be, don't, I'm not saying fit in. No, that's not what I'm saying. I'm saying don't act as if you haven't been through the same thing that everybody's been through. Because this is what people that appear like Lucifer is going to do. They're going to tell you, God chose me. They're going to tell you, I'm the Messiah. They're going to tell you, our ministry of Islam or our ministry of Christianity is the chosen one by God. Because look at this. Look at this circle we made. Look at how we wrote the name of God. Um, look at this and this and the third, and it's all they're gonna give you all these different things to look at as far as like grandiose things. But if you can't overcome your past, if you can overcome the entity, the negative entities inside of you that are operating uh, in you as a deity, and the deities outside of you with entities manifesting through them that are trying to stop you from being the real you, then you really know better than. Lucifer in the Bible, like that, that, like that's really it. Like you don't need to be this grand spectacle. You don't need to be this. You need. You don't need to build this grand mosque or this grand cathedral or this grand church. I'm not mad at these things. You know, these things are pretty cool to look at, but those things don't got like much to do with my spirit. Yeah, you can make it into an allegory and you can write a book about it, such as why we have allegories in the Bible, like we are the temple of God and things like that. But you know, but what happens to the temple of God when the temple of God actually believes that, you know, it's a, a series of multiplicities of this world, you know, like that becomes really, really weird because you start fighting yourselves and you start fighting other people that other Lucifers, other demons. Ah, look, you can't bear more light than me. Ah, look, 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 look at all this light I bared. Ah, ah. Look at all these people I can control from the dark. Ah, ah, ah. Look at all this I could do. Like, it's really just psychopathic. It's really just bullshit. You're really not helping 
A lot of people who participate in the Lucifer mind, in the Lucifer world, in the Lucifer mentality, don't know what the fuck they're doing. Don't know what the fuck they doing. Lost as a motherfucker. Lost as a motherfucker. So long as you continue to run away from your childhood, your trauma, what you were doing to other people, what you've experienced yourself, you're going to keep experiencing the same bullshit you've been experiencing. Now, you can run away from it all you want. You can tell yourself, yeah, I'm practicing this system, this 12th house system. Yeah, I mean, all that's great. Now, I love the 12th house system. I love astrology. I love numerology. I love gematria. I love all those things. But that's why the Bible tells us it is the simplicity of the Bible that confines the wise and the fools and things like that. Because the word of God is very simple, you know. God didn't God doesn't need people to come in here and turn and create these massive temples. These so now we could do these things to you know give people an idea about what's going on so they can build themselves. Because look, God doesn't lie to anybody. We always lie to ourselves. We always tell ourselves, oh, nah, this can't be true. This can't be it. This is the, this is the light. Nah. Fire, earth, wind, water. One, two, three, four, five, six, two, eight, nine. And that's great. I love these things. They're wonderful things. And these are wonderful keys to access yourself. But once you understand yourself, after you understand the energies you display and all that stuff, that's great. But now, how are you going to transfigure yourself in front of other people so that other people have the hope that they can do the same thing? Because if you appear like Barack Obama, Oh, guys, everybody, good morning, America. It's Barack Obama and uh, the American people are doing great. No, we need to see the struggles. We need to see the pain. We need to see the worry. We want to see the doubt. We want to see what a person's been through to get to that position. Not just you instantly being there. Like, oh, look, I'm, I'm a bad motherfucker. I'm a bad motherfucker. Okay, you're a bad motherfucker. But, 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 where's where's the stuff you've been through? So you so you, you were just born perfect. Oh, okay, okay. So you, you're in this human flesh and you're born perfect. See, this, this, these are people that would blame you for not doing what they doing because to them, again, that's the grandest thing in the world. They think they Messiah, they person, whoever they following, that's going to be, that's it. That's the final, that's, uh, that's Abraham, that's Moses, that's Muhammad, whatever your version of that is, bro. There's so many sun messiahs that people followed that died. So many people that represent different cherubims and different angles of this reality that came here and died. But I don't care if you're a fucking angel. I don't care if you're the grandest of all demons. I don't care if you're an ifrit. I don't care if you're a jinn. I don't give a fuck. How are you going to take what you're doing and actually help other people get out of what they've been doing for 2,000 and 4,000 and 6,000 of years? Because this, you know, like if you... Like the average person does not know what the occult means. The average person does not understand or is afraid of these things based on how the dominant culture told them to look at these things. So you got to be able to come down on the level of a human. Come down from where the fuck you are. You don't need to be every day, all day up up like that. Like be, be a person. You're a person right now. You're a spirit in a human body. Just be you. And a lot of people don't really understand what it means to be them. That's why people want to be a Lucifer. They want to be, they want to bear the light of somebody else and bear it the best. And that's really what they want to do. Like, let's say, you know, politics or entertainment, whatever your descendant is, wherever you come from, people want to bear the legacy of somebody else. But why don't you create your own legacy? Is your are you not here for yourself? I didn't know you was here for somebody else. Okay, you're here for somebody else. Go die for that somebody else. And it's like. It's like, you know, we're, we're ourselves at the end of the day. You're never going to be able to harness as much as energy as that person that's already doing that. Now, you might be able to learn from them a few things and add to what you're doing. But at the end of the day, you're going to get tired of doing it because it's really not you. A lot of people is really not being themselves. A lot of people are just giving up themselves. So when I talk about a Lucifer, a Lucifer can be your imam. A Lucifer can be your pastor. The Lucifer can be your mother and father because they believe they bear the light and they want you to bear that light with them. They're like, yeah, you bear that light. That, yeah, you bear the light. Isn't that the best thing in the world? And that's all they see in their eyes. Yeah, that's the best light in the world. I think you should bear it too. Oh, you're not going to bear it? Oh, you're a whore of Babylon. Oh, you a bitch. Oh, you're a beta male. Oh, you this and this and that. 
Bunch of fucking fools who don't know shit, really. That's what I say. That's what I say. That's what I goddamn say. Real shit in this motherfucker. There's no re there's no need for all these illusions. There's no need for all these, you know, if something, if your gut tells you that something is bad for you, something is hurting you, something is not let it, allowing you to get over what's going on inside of you, it's the only reason you would go to Lucifer and hang out with Lucifer. The only reason we came down here following Lucifer is because we thought we needed something else. We thought, you know, brother, we needed we we needed the light of Jesus. We needed Muhammad. Oh, you know, brother, we need we needed trees. We need, uh, now trees is actually a fourth, fifth, sixth, seventh, eighth, ninth dimensional concept and shit like that. It, it's it's trees is not even really from here. Trees is like some other shit. Cats and dogs and all that is really some other shit. These are just mutations of the original shit. Because this is this is nothing. So, okay, so if you came down here and you like cats and dogs and donkeys and penguins and you came down here and you like that shit, okay, you got to understand you're a flawed person on purpose for a purpose. You're not supposed, you don't, you don't need to be this perfect thing in the heavens. You are not made perfect and you're still not perfect and you will never be perfect. And if you want to aim for perfection, good motherfucking luck. Because you ain't gonna, you ain't never gonna get it. You ain't never gonna do it right. Period. Now, if you hanging out with, with your Lucifer and shit like that, at the mosque, at the masjid, of course the Lucifer is gonna be like, good job, here you go. Kitty just go, Kitty just go, Kitty just go. You're doing a good job, you're doing a good job. Yeah, clean the mosque, clean the, clean the mosque. Altar boy, altar boy, altar boy. Clean the church, clean the church, clean the church. Of course they're gonna be rooting for you, but that's what that's the that's the problem with fucking Lucifer. He wants you to bear its light and its light only, and it doesn't believe that anything else is worthy of you know, worthy of love. This is why our a lot of our lives are fucked up because we're too busy trying to bear this light, and this light is is nothing. This information, this knowledge is nothing. It ain't shit. God wants you to unblock. Everything in your body and be able to hear your father because there's no medium between God and men not astrology now look we can track a point of reference yes but you honestly believe the average person knows exactly what they need the average person knows exactly what they need to do they just have to dig a little deeper they just have, they just have to do a little more shadow work and a, a lot of people still have to do a lot of spiritual people that I know Still have to do shadow work because they, they actually think that they have it, that they are it, that they've they are transmistus magestus and, and they're about to leave earth and be like, No, you're not leaving nowhere with that shit. I'll tell you that right now, you're not leaving nowhere with that shit. And I don't care how much energy work you put because look, all these words you're using is fake definitions. Yeah, you can use words, you can type a book. A person who's never been through something can type a book about confidence and they might have never going through any situation to know about confidence but they since the world believes in lucifer since the world believes in the prince of the air air logic communication uh rationale this rationalized fucking five six seven year old eight year old girls like how the muslim brothers do and them uh whatever niggas do yeah there's a lot of shit you can justify you can justify fucking another man in the ass you can justify a lot of things with your mind your mind can justify a lot of things your mind can do a lot of things if you if you if you, if you share but if you don't allow yourself to actually be open to the real influence, I'm not talking about no reference points. I'm not talking about no, the moon is at this phase, the moon is at that phase, the sun is at this phase, this is that phase. Okay, that's great. Okay, that's great. Okay, but after we learn that, after we know that, how are we going to show others how we overcame the challenges that we went through in our own lives so we can help other people who went through the same thing we went through to get over those things. How are you going to do that if you're this image of perfection? If you're this image, if, you, if you're this grand illusion. These movies in Hollywood, they're not real. We know, we know there's such thing as actors and actresses. They just make a display. They make a show. And if you choose to buy into it, then there you go. You buy into that show, you buy into the movie, but nevertheless, it is just a movie. They just use a bunch of colors to make a, a series of suggestions to you. Hey, you know, this is the this, this this is that, this is this, and this is that. So you should feel think you should think about this this way, and you should feel about this that way. And whenever you don't follow this Lucifer's or a Lucifer's 
point of view, they're not going to be happy because they're going to see you as the enemy. They're going to be like, oh, this person must be a demon. Oh, this person fell. But in reality, you trying to be like Lucifer, you trying to be like that Lucifer in front of you. Remember, all Lucifer is an allegory for somebody who tries to bear the most light. Somebody who thinks that they became all these combobulated groups of lights. And they just want to restructure it, make it look good again and again and again every time so they can continue to stand under the time. But it's really, it's really a very limited way. Like, for example, if you're a Freemason and you're, let's say, you're, you, you can know all the occult things about the darks and things like that. And it's going to work for you. You're going to manifest from them and all of that. But you're also going to pay the price. And the price is going to be your spirit is not going to be able to go into certain areas. You're going to keep yourself dark in certain areas because you're really, you're really lying to yourself. A lot of the, a, a lot of Luciferians lie to themselves. Like they justify themselves. They think what they do is right. They feel what they do is right. But it's really just some psychopathic like behavior because you actually think you're right. And you actually think you can make other people separate from whatever they're into. So then can be a part of your organization, be part of your ministry. Kind of like Islam or, you know, Christianity. Whether, you know, whether, you know, you're an Ahmadi or whatever the fuck you is. None of this shit is it. None of it. And if it was it, then everybody in the world would be Muslims. Last time I checked, Islam came from the Middle East. So if Islam came from the Middle East. I mean, we can also find evidence of it in North America and things like that because, you know, it, 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 traveled, it traveled pretty far. But the, po the point is, take it with a grain of salt. It's trying to make a point. It's trying to make you understand something. It's just a person showing you their travel. They're like, hey, look, this is what I did to overcome my situations and my circumstances for me to develop this community, this ministry that I am in. And if you understand yourself and what you've been through, you're, you're not going to have to go through these same situations that you recreate again and again with your mind. Bending it on itself because we create thoughts and feelings and they bend it on itself. But Lucifer doesn't want to change his thoughts and feelings. Lucifer just thinks it's the greatest thing since sliced bread. You know, you got you got a friend in your life. They think they're the greatest thing ever. And they think you should give them all your time, all your energy. Yeah, you think? Because they're Lucifer. They're lost in their light. They think that's the greatest thing in the world. Their chakra system, whatever they rotate, they think that's the greatest thing in the world and everybody should look at the world through that and everybody should act through that and everybody should correlate themselves through that. But in reality, in reality, in reality, in actuality, we're all flawed humans. So don't fall for grand illusions. Now, there's some cool things out there that can point you to yourself, but you may get lost in them. Like let's say if you get if you get a, a golden dawn book, okay, that's great, but you need to understand what they're talking about. They're basically just talking about a thought. And they're talking about a feeling, and when these things when these two things collide, they create a fusion, and that fusion is a solution and a product and something that you bring about. So be careful what you think and feel about because you actually bring about that shit. So Lucifer is everywhere. Lucifer is everywhere, fucking literally on TV, in your families. In your motherfucking friend circles, in the movies you go watch, in your government, in your entertainment, in your uh, stru in, in any structure, you will find Lucifer. And Lucifer doesn't know that it's Lucifer because there's many descendants of Lucifer, and they basically acting out the same way Lucifer did. But again, all it is an allegory. Look, like I got a, I got a bunch of friends right now that they think they're the greatest thing ever, and they, in fact, they're be watching this, and they might be like. Nah, bro, you gotta follow my way of thinking. You can't think and feel like that. Who the fuck told you that, you son of a bitch? Are you stupid? Are you fucking slow? I'm me. I'm gonna be me at the end of the day. I'm. I, if I don't wanna follow your ministry, if I don't wanna follow your ways of thinking, like, most people hate themselves. Most people is insecure. Most people is not happy at all. Most people experience dis-ease. So why the fuck will I come and experience that with you? You knowing that. Like, this is how lost people is in the world in their darkness. And in their, the, the, which is the darkness is the series of lights, that, which is the thoughts and feelings that you combobulate into an orb, which became a darkness that now you live in as a spirit. And that become the thing that you got to do shadow work at. And you got you to gotta spark a bunch of thoughts and feelings in that to destroy that darkness. That you don't need to be 
a part of because you can just the darkness is really just behind the scenes subconscious shit that you don't understand shit that was shit that if it was made conscious through a system through articulation through patterning like movies tv shows any of that it would carry some kind of ladder for you to climb but you gotta understand that the ladder you're building to climb might take somebody to hell and you gotta be very careful who you take into hell because you're gonna pay for that shit you're gonna pay for that shit and i don't want anybody paying for that shit because we're I'm tired of being in hell. You don't need to listen to Lucifer no more. Take everything with a grain of salt. Take this channel with a grain of salt. Because I'm learning. I'm developing. I'm overcoming phobias. I'm overcoming fears. I'm overcoming worries. I'm overcoming doubts. But while I'm doing that, I'm going to show other people that I'm doing that. And I'm going to help other people get out of that and see that that's possible. That I ended up on the other side of the, you know, fence. And if I jump... On the other side of the fence, hey, maybe you could do it too. And I love you, I appreciate you, and nothing you could do about it. And I'm gonna infinitely see you on tomorrow's video. You better believe it, real shit.